episode of Green Van Outdoors. I'm Floyd and I hope you're nothing short of fantastic. So what I want to talk to you about is I released a video about two weeks ago on the Hexamen. Now I know Hexamen was used across the bushcraft preppers while camping community quite quite um in large one well, I say large amounts people use them had them as a backup kit and etc stuff like that so I put a video out to because I find out this information that there is banned and there's a there's um a maximum penalty of two years of imprisonment and or a fine now you need to use your noggin in a bit with that so if you're caught with just a small box with your hexman cooker out in the wild I can't see you getting put in prison or even a fine for that I think that it would just be confiscated or the copper may say book you and say you need to get rid of it um, however if, you're, if you've got I don't know a shed load you're probably going to get arrested and, and, and be a court appearance and if that makes sense what I'm trying to get at there so where am I going with this I don't know I just don't know no, so where I'm going with this that video that I released two weeks two weeks ago had so much so many views it's my, my most viewed video I've had so far and a lot of people took an interest of, of getting involved in the comments and stuff like that which is fantastic I tried to reply every single message that, you know if I could but some of you were coming out with some scientific stuff that was blowing my mind. You know, it's above me that um, I just used to use it in the, when I used to serve in my hexi cooker and boil up some water, and that was it. <laughs> so, how to dispose of it? It does state. Let me to take some notes. Um, if you no longer require it, you need to contact your local council. I'll put the link below. Um, this is just for England and Wales. There was nothing for Scotland on the doc website that I saw so far. But then again, I only searched for about 10, 10 15 minutes. Um, so this is England and Wales only. Um, so yeah, I'll put the link below. It'll take you to your local... Uh, that, that link will take you then to your local uh, recycling centre. There's a hazardous um, recycling area there. In your husband in your recycling centers that you can just take that to and that and they'll dispose of it not safely for you um, so when you go to click on that link it'll tell you to put your postcode in then it tell you what your nearest um, recycling center is then you need to get in touch with them and and ask do they recycle hazardous um, stuff like hexamine and if, if not if they don't do it there then they'll tell you more than likely tell you where you need to go to do it and that's basically it so it did state that you need to recycle the cardboard and deface um, um, the, the, the cardboard packaging itself before putting it in a bin so you're recycling the cardboard bin but as most of you are well aware with the hexamine cook, cooking blocks it's covered in that waxy stuff anyway that we used to just burn it in the end because it was just a decent fire lighting uh, box infused with wax wherever it was so I would just keep it in this packaging contact your local um, recycling centre link below again and see what they say and see what where you get you get directed to from there um, a bit more than the people that um, have a license to have this stuff because they're you know importing it exporting it or just to acquire it to possess it if you no longer want anything more to do with it you have to return your license to the home office if you've got a license already you 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 already know this i'm assuming i'm, I'm just it's just something i quickly read up on just now yeah so i'll put the link below to the video first of all what i released a couple of weeks ago if you're if you're not seen that yet if you want to see that that is don't don't feel pressured in doing that I've pretty much hit everything, all the information on my head with this. But, um, and I'll also put the link below to the DocWeb website for um, your local recycling centre. So, all your, it, like I said, it put, take it to the DocWeb website and you type in your, your postcode and you'll go from there. I hope this information helps. 
it is a quick video and I just wanted to um, do a bit of a continuation because there are so many people asking how to get rid of it and not everyone did ask how to get rid of it and it's only fair that I rather than put scaremonger oh, two years imprisonment and all that jazz I've now given you the information of how to dispose of it safely I hope you have a fantastic time I hope this information is helping you thank you for your support thank you for viewing and I'll catch you at the next one